Everyone, my name is Queen Beeline back to you with another video. This video pertains to the recent events surrounding the 2020 presidential election and the Georgia grand jury probe. So let's get into it. Former Speaker of the House Newt Gingrich of Georgia is being asked by the 1 6 committee to voluntarily come in to discuss his participation in promoting the false claim that the 2020 presidential election was stolen again. Former Speaker of the House, Newt Gingrich of Georgia, has been asked to come into the 1-6 committee to address his participation about false claims about the 2020 elections. The 1-6 committee is citing emails exchanged with former Trump advisors, which include his son-in-law, Kushner, Jason Miller, that promoted unverified statements in TV ads. 1-6 also references Gingrich's conversation with then Chief of Staff Mark Meadows and other former Trump advisors after the elections, including the day after the 1 6 attack. Again, the 1 6 committee is looking to speak with former Speaker of the House Newt Gingrich of Georgia to speak of his role during and after the 2020 election. John Eastman, a lawyer and one of the key players in Donald Trump's attempted coup, pled the fifth during the Georgia grand jury probe. Again, John Eastman, an attorney who played a role in the attempted coup of the 2020 election, Pled the fifth. You will watch this brief clip and I will be back with more commentary. If you're innocent, why are you taking the Fifth Amendment? Fast moving developments in the House probe into January 6th. Alex Jones told his podcast audience he pleaded the fifth almost 100 times. Have you seen what's going on in front of Congress? Fifth Amendment, Fifth Amendment, Fifth Amendment. Mr. Clark intends to invoke the Fifth Amendment privilege against self-incrimination. Another lawyer involved in this scheme to flip the election results, lawyer John Eastman, he too is going to take the fifth. Taking the fifth, I think it's disgraceful. The Trump Organization's accounting firm now says nearly a decade worth of financial statements can no longer be relied upon and they cannot represent Donald Trump anymore. His son, Eric Trump, invoked his right against self-incrimination in response to more than 500 questions. Fifth Amendment. Bob. President Trump and two of his children must answer questions under oath. That from a judge in New York today. It's possible he will take the fifth, take the fifth, take the fifth. He won't say anything. This is like Watergate, only it's worse. The mob takes the fifth. Rudy Giuliani also went before the grand jury and was informed that he is a possible target of the investigation into attempts by the twice impeached one term grifter Trump as they were trying to overturn the 2020 election, which included the state of Georgia. He spent approximately six hours with the grand jury and no cameras were allowed during that time. Which leads us to the current sitting senator of South Carolina, Lindsey Graham, who also sits on the Judiciary Committee as it has been confirmed that he must testify before the grand jury. Breaking news, it has been confirmed that Lindsey Graham, a sitting senator of South Carolina, who is a judiciary member has to testify before Georgia's grand jury. Prior to this announcement, the appellate courts had agreed with Lindsay, citing that he had 
free speech and debate clause. Days prior to this announcement, Lindsay went onto Fox News to make the following statements. You will watch this brief clip and I will be back with more commentary. Donald Trump for mishandling classified information. After the Clinton debacle, which you presided over and did a hell of a good job, there'll be riots in the street. A sitting senator that sits on the Judiciary Committee was openly engaging in the act of a riot occurring in these United States, but did not have the time to sit down with a grand jury over his role into impeding the will of the people in another state which he had no business. You will watch this brief flashback and I will be back with more commentary. Because the twice impeached one term grifter had no business taking classified documents outside of the White House to his resort in Florida. This is what Lindsey Graham, a sitting senator, is telling the American people. Again, it's the white privilege for me that a sitting senator wanted to deny the will of the people in another state to help out the twice impeached one term grifter Trump. Because he wanted 11,780 votes in the state of Georgia, alongside six other states, the guardians of Putin were willing to overturn the will of the people because of this one term twice impeach grifter. America, again, the checks and balances is in our hands on November 8th, 2022. There are 34 seats in the Senate and all for 35 in the House of Representatives on the federal level. 36 governor races and multiple state and local races are for the taking. If your state allows early voting, please take advantage because elections have consequences. Elections matter. Be safe out there and I will see you in the next video.